How, how was it for you out there? Business as usual, you know. It's just uh, the stadium is, is, is so great. When the moment you step on the pitch, you just want to you know, roll back the ears and just play, enjoy. And hopefully today we've done that. And it was, it was good for everybody. And it was so loud as well. It was loud, and the atmosphere is even more like uh, close and intense. And I am sure that the visiting team will, will experience that, and it's going to help uh, Spurs uh, in the games as well. And the first game is on Wednesday. It's going to be a fantastic occasion for the fans and the club. Yes, and it probably is going to be even more fantastic if they win it. It's going to be great, and you know this is uh, another step towards uh, getting bigger, bigger and better. And as I said many times before, uh, the only thing is missing now winning a trophy, which I, I, I hope they can do soon. And the following Wednesday, Champions League against Manchester City. How do you think they get on? Uh, probably only different is going to be the, the anthem before the before the game. Otherwise, they know each other so well. I don't think they can surprise each other with anything. It's just a matter of uh, who's going to make uh, less mistakes in the game. Thank you. And to play Champions League every year is a great honour. So obviously football is business, you get more money out of it as well. Uh, and you play against the best team in the world. Finally for me, this week we saw Ole Gunnar Solskjaer appointed as Man United manager full time. What do you make of that appointment? I, I said before, and uh, even before they gave him the job, that he earned it because of the result he achieved. and. You see the the way the team is playing and everybody stick together. I, I think it's the right decision. Of course, now now begins the, the difficult part to keep the job if you want because now it's yours to lose it, and the pressure is going to be even more. But it is always like that in Manchester United. You're in the biggest club, so you need to, to play and win. Demi, what legacy has Daniel created for this club here? Well, I, I, I told you, colleague, before, it's another step towards uh, making Spurs even bigger uh, with the stadium, with the training ground. Uh, the, the team is definitely stronger than ours here, so I hope they can you know, soon uh, win something. Is this the greatest chance of having a Champions League winning squad? Uh, you know, any team can do it uh, with, without anyone, you know, so it's about playing together. But in the quality of the players they have right now? Their quality is unbelievable and that's why I say that they have everything in their disposal now to, to win something and hopefully they can do that soon. Could this atmosphere here now with the white wall rival Anfield, do you think? Uh, probably it's going to be up there, it's going to be up there, but again, it comes down to what you do in the games. Uh, if you depend only on the atmosphere, it's not a good thing, you need to, to depend on each other on the team and support each other and win games.